Good Friday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onik. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update of your current situation where it comes to the forecast. As of right now, we're seeing again the possibility of getting in some more thunderstorms into later on tonight. And as of right now, things are decently quiet, but we may be seeing again the possibility of more problems heading our way into later on this evening. Taking a look at traffic around the Mid-South area, decently slow at the usual spots, including back down toward I-22 and Highway 78 around Tuckerman. Road and also around Sam Cooper Boulevard into parts of the rest of the area. We're seeing again the usual typical Friday evening slowdowns and rubbernecking taking place out there. So please be careful if you're heading out the door pretty soon. Large storm system heading our way. Lots of energy swirling on through the Great Plains states, and that's going to do a very good job of kicking up a lot of problems for the Midwest, especially for the southern Midwest as we get into the rest of the evening tonight and overnight into very early tomorrow morning. You can see, again, a lot of that energy coming on through. Left-hand side of the satellite shot, right up there, we've got, again, this big swirl of energy coming in from off the Rockies. If you've ever walked through a crawl space, you know how confined that is, and you've got a hunch down really far. Your head hits the top of the ceiling in the crawl space. You don't have a lot of room to maneuver. That's kind of like what this storm system is like when it goes through the atmosphere across the Rockies. It gets forced way up high into the atmosphere. Then, as it gets out into the plain states, it's like coming out from that crawl space into a large gymnasium. You've got a lot more room to maneuver. You've got a lot more energy, and all the moisture, those purples and blues and grays, that's that moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico as that energy from that storm system swirling around makes its way into the plains, interacting with that moisture, transporting it up several thousand feet. We start to see again the possibility of getting a lot more thunderstorms formed with this combination of energy, instability, and moisture and lift. We could be looking at some very strong thunderstorms coming our way. Visible satellite picture again shows a lot of cloud cover across the Mid-South, so if you're planning on any stargazing tonight, does not look like that is going to be anything we're going to be able to see for this evening, unfortunately, with all the clouds out there. Radar is showing, again, from the National Weather Service in Memphis, a little bit of activity back up between West Plains and Poplar Bluff in Missouri. Beyond that, we don't have a great deal of activity taking place uh, in the area. We're looking again at a few more showers and maybe trying to get a few thunderstorms going in northwest Mississippi and back into southeastern Arkansas. Nothing major as of the time we tape this, a little bit after 5.30, but we will be seeing again the possibility of more activity into later on tonight. So stick around for more on the forecast with News Channel 3. We'll have more on that coming up. The storm system as it howls into the Plain States is going to be kind of a double whammy with this system coming on through. What do we mean by that? Well, as we go into the course of the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing some interesting effects uh, out of this as this gets its way a little bit closer to us. We're going to see again the possibility of this thunderstorm area making its way on through. And this again could be a bit of a problem as we get into the course of the evening hours as the storm system gets a little bit closer into around the plain states. We may see the possibility of some more areas of showers and thunderstorms coming on through as we go into tomorrow morning, especially past about midnight through about six o'clock in the morning. And then as we get into tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, we could see the possibility of some repeat showers and thunderstorms. And that's something else we're going to have to watch. Lingering showers Showers should be gone by Sunday morning, and then by Monday we see another storm system well out into the Plain States. That one also could be giving us some problems as we get into very early on Monday. Now, currently, <coughs> excuse me. All we have in the brown shaded counties are wind advisories. That's basically in effect for the entire Mid-South area, including Memphis and Shelby County. And we will be seeing again that very breezy winds out of the southwest at about 25 to 40 miles per hour. We see again the storm system making its way across the Mississippi River Valley, heading our direction into the metro by about 2 o'clock in the morning and out of the Mid-South by about 5 o'clock in the morning. We're not quite done yet again with this system because as it moves into the Mid-South, we will see potential for stronger thunderstorms coming on through. But as we get into around very early uh, Saturday morning, we also see that possibility of some stronger thunderstorms coming on through the area as we get into around the area close to around very early uh, tomorrow morning. What exactly are we looking at? Well, the thunderstorm should begin tonight around News Channel 3 at 10 and then increase into tomorrow morning as we go across the large red bars. That's thunderstorm. Green at the top is rainfall and notice the heaviest activity just 
just after midnight through about daybreak. Then it lets off, but it doesn't go away all the way throughout the Mid-South, so we will be seeing a chance of showers and thunderstorms going on through the area throughout the day on Saturday, so a good opportunity to make certain that you are uh, finding someplace indoors again just to be on the safe side. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening on air and online. We'll keep you updated as to what's going on. Tim and Jim tonight, and I'll be on bright and early tomorrow morning with more information and more details to follow again if you have to go live with the weather information in regards to severe weather we will break in and let you know more about what's going on so stay tuned to news channel three on air and online throughout the rest of the evening live and direct from house onic i'm meteorologist austin onic stay tuned for more with news channel three throughout the rest of the evening and into saturday morning